Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 180. And I'm going to be bringing you my goodies and guts for July. And these are always fun. Um, it's basically kind of like a free class in the mail um, for placing a qualifying order. And I'll explain that um, when I turn the camera. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So I do offer um, little incentives to order from me each month and I just call them goodies and, and slash guts. Um, you can pick which one that you like. Um, if you order 75 before tax and shipping, you earn a goodie or a gut. And then you, I know that sounds gross, but it's just supplies, so the supplies you need to make the projects. There's three projects. Um, nothing is stamped on your um, stuff. You'll have to use your own stamps and ink. Um, sometimes I use DSP that has an image and then that would be with it, um, but nothing is stamped. And then the goodies are usually um, an embellishment, a ribbon. It just depends on what I choose for that month. But um, you just need to let me know. I will send an email um, once you place your order and you want to use the host code. And then um, I'll just say, do you want the goodies or the guts? And then you let me know. And then that will come with your um, July thank you card, usually around the first of August, the first week of August, because I have to order um, the the goodies right all right um, and if you want both a lot of people choose both um, you just need to order 150 before tax and shipping in the month and you earn both the goodies um, and the guts and that's accumulative so if you order a couple times a month and then those orders together come to those amounts that that counts so if you have any questions you can always ask me all right so I'm gonna stop blabbing I am gonna turn the camera so close your eyes just for a second while I get adjusted there okay so I have a few things to um, make sure I go over with you um, my host code that I talked about so this is the code that you want to use if you are ordering less than 150 before tax and shipping if you are ordering more then don't if you're ordering more than 150 don't use my code because then you'll get your own hostess benefits but you'll still earn the goodies and the guts and let's see so speaking of bonus days are going on in the month of July so from July 6th to the 31st when you shop with me in my store um, you can earn a $5 coupon for every $50 before tax and shipping that you spend um, and that's in my store that's not um, classes or anything like that that is in the store and then you can redeem your coupon in August so Stampin' Up! will send you an email because the code will come from them not me they'll send you a code in the email after you place your qualifying order and you want to keep those codes I just print them out I save them on my um, email and then when August comes you'll just load those codes in um, to get your your coupon to spend so that's super good all right what else is going on <clears throat> mystery boxes the mystery boxes are ready I had a couple people want them and then they didn't pay um, so I have a couple boxes still available make sure you holler at me you can um, check out on my blog they are $50 they're just mystery you don't know what you're gonna get and then 1710 um, for postage because they are a medium flat rate box and I have loaded them to the max and um, so if you have any questions make sure you ask all right I think that was those two and then also I have my virtual full social so that is coming up in September and I do have um, some information on my blog about that I do have um, I have not sent out the registration yet all right so let's get to the goodies and the guts so the um, the goodies for July are the new 2023-2025 in color dots these are super fun look at how they shine and catch the light they almost look like I'm trying to think what it is when you get your nails done is it cat eye or something and they do something to the nail polish and then it makes it all weird this is what these kind of remind me remind me of so when you order 75 before tax and shipping you say I want the goodies these will be the goodies that you'll get 
All right, but some people like the gut. Some people like um, to get that class packet. It's basically like a free class, like I said, and you do your stuff. So um, these are the supplies that you'll be getting um, for your July. So it's all in this little bag. I mean, it'll be, be sealed up, but all right. So you have your, your ribbons you need, your bling, a business card, and then just a little thing. Now this code right here will be the July code. Um, once I upload the video, then YouTube gives me the code, like the link, and then that will be on there so that you can reference back to this video. And then you have, so these are the supplies that you're going to be um, getting. So you have two cards and a little box. So that's what I'm going to um, be demonstrating today so that, um, you know, when you get your packet, you'll be, have this video that you can reference back to. All right, so I'm going to dump out my ribbon and my embellishments, and I'm just setting them off camera there. All right, so the first card we're gonna do is this super cute, fun, Life is Sweeter With You, and that uses the share a milkshake now just like i said before nothing is stamped so you'll have to um you know have this bundle on your own or you simply use what you have at home um with your with your pieces but um i did this as a class last year so if you took that class you will already have this so this is a super cute card and I did use um, some, I'm trying to think what they're, I'll, I'll try to remember the name. I will put the supply list underneath because sometimes I will get things that are on clearance. You make sure you always want to check the clearance rack. Sometimes they're a memory and more card kit. Sometimes they're a paper pumpkin add-on. I love to mix and match and take a total advantage of everything that Stampin' Up! has to offer. So that's where sometimes you'll see. And that's where these little cards came from. And I just loved the look of them. They're kind of retro-y. And that was perfect for the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, the sherry milkshake. All right, so let me get my little grid sheet out here so these are your pieces so your card is a little bit bigger than normal but you have your envelope that it will fit in so don't worry about that so let me show you your pieces now this is a piece of poppy parade and i used the die and i cut out some hearts so you have that in order to do that you have your little circle now this is in your packet and then you have some DSP, so that will go on the inside. So just get your pieces so you're you're making sure that you're using the, the right pieces. Because you have two basic whites that are the same size. And then you have one that's a little smaller. And this is the one that you're going to stamp on and die cut out. So you want to make sure you're not um, assembling the wrong the wrong ones all right so this little piece goes on the inside of my card and so your um, cards will be a variety you might get um, one of these really fun bubbly looking um, DSPs that has more pink yours might have more orange might have more yellow it just depends on where it was cut um, when I was making the card so but they're all very very cute all right so I'm just trimming, trimming. All right. So this is going to go on the inside of the card. Like this. So I didn't put anything on this. It's a little bit smaller than normal. But I wanted it to be the same size as the front one. So that's why it's like that. All right, we also have, oh, you know what I forgot to do on this one? I forgot on my original one. I forgot to tie the to the bow. Hang on a minute. Now, this is like a too long of a piece probably, but I forgot to tie that on there. So hold on. Hold on. I'm going to finish this card, but I didn't have the, the finished one looking properly. All right. So there. Okay, now let's go back. <laughs> okay, so we have this piece here, and 
we are going to stamp our um, little greeting on the bottom and I chose the life is Sme sweeter with you and the colors I'm using are coastal cabana gorgeous grape and fresh freesia so let's get our ink open here so gorgeous grape And I'm just going to stamp that on the bottom. And this is similar to one of the cards I did in a class before too. Because I just, I, I get where I like a certain layout. And that was like with this one. And I could not, not use this paper. So this is like actually a retired paper. But it is so fun and retro and looks great with the Shira Milkshake that I couldn't help but use it. All right. So then I'm going to put this on the card. I'm just making sure that my borders are, you know, pretty similar around the card. Then this is where you want that ribbon. That I hadn't finished on the other one. Alright, so you have a piece of ribbon. So you're just going to take this and you're going to trim. And we're just going to do like a fake bow on there. So we're going to take our glue dot and our other glue dot. Like that. And wrap it around. And I'm putting it so it's even with that DSP. And I usually like to put a little scotch tape behind there just to reinforce it because we are going to tie that other piece on there like you saw me. And so we're going to be tugging on it a little bit. So I just as soon have it be like really, really stuck on there. All right. I'm also going to put this on with dimensionals. Oh, here they are. I swear they hide on me. All right, so we're going to put this on with dimensionals. And it's a little bigger size card, so I'm definitely going to put one in the center. I'm actually going to put two in the center so our center does not sag. So definitely check out that clearance rack if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. Sometimes we have those add-ons, but look how cute this looks together. It just looks so retro and fizzy pop right it's so fun all right so let's see here so then this is that scrap piece that you're going to use to stamp your um your glass on here i'm going to forget that again all right you're going to stamp your um whatchamacallit on your ice cream glass all right, and I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. I don't know what about Coastal Cabana, but to me, that also screams like a retro-y kind of color, and it makes it look um, like a fountain fountain drink, you know, kind of thing. All right, so we're going to use a solid one first, and I just kind of kind of like let that lay on there, but I want to stamp it off. So I didn't stamp it off like super super hard because I still want to leave some color there. I want it to look kind of modeled-y and stuff like that. All right, and then we're going to do the solid one. Well, you know what I mean. They're both kind of solid, but this one has the the um, solid side and the lines. So that's going to give you that look of that um, milkshake glass, you know. So look how cute that is. Oh, I love it so much. All right, so you have that. So that was in Coastal Cabana. And then we're going to do a couple um, milk, like ice cream, or it could be a milkshake. It really depends on, you know, what you want your card to be. All right, so I just use Fresh Freesia. So I've got Fresh Freesia. And then I'm going to clean it because I'm going to use the same stamp and I'm going to go into gorgeous grape. So I usually try to do the light and then the dark because if you forgot to clean that 
fresh freesia into your gorgeous grape by accident would be less of a bad thing than a gorgeous grape into your fresh freesia. All right, so there we've got our cute little ice cream. Close my pads. All right, now what I did ahead of time, because I used the die, I have cut out my, um, my milkshake glass, and then I have cut out my two little ice creams, and I also cut out my little hearts. All right, so now we can put our card together. Now I'm going to use my, whatchamacallit, my silicone, and I'm going to build my um, ice cream over here. And it's eventually going to go on there. Okay, so I'm going to build my ice cream over here, and I'm just going to use a glue dot. So this ice cream actually cuts a... Um, a little hole where you could there's a there's a spoon that goes with it all right so I'm just gonna kind of make this be crooked like it's kind of going down the glass and then now if you have room on your paper you could do probably four if you want but I just did two all right and then we're gonna put this guy so he's gonna kind of go like that and again, I'm going to use a glue dot. I'm using the silicone just in case I um, have it go off. Like, because when I'm putting this on here, I'm just trying to cover that hole up so we don't see it. And my glue dots might. So see that glue dot you can see there? It would have stuck it to the to the um, grid sheet. All right. And then you can decide on what heart you want inside your... Um, ice cream it gives you three different sizes I'm gonna pick the medium one and I'm simply gonna stick it in here so now you've got this cute little like an ice cream cookie maybe um, or a heart cookie all right so that's good then we're gonna bring this over here now I'm gonna put this on the card like this I'm just kind of putting them in the center there. And we're just going to plop this on here like that. And then we're going to take our ice cream and we're going to put some more dimensionals on here. And I'm going to put them up here and that's also going to hold them together. Since I just have that little glue dot holding them together you know initially this will um you know keep them on the card all right so let's bring this over now it's up to you if you want to go straight crooked you know however you want i'm going to go straight on this one and i'll show you the other one where i went crooked and then you can decide i'm going to go off here a little bit you can decide if you want it to be crooked or straight all right so i have my little um heart here and I'm going to put this on with a glue dot and I'm going to stick it on beside my greeting just so I'm not wasting it I still have the big one you could stick on the inside of the card as well all right so that's just going to go life is sweeter with you I'm just going to stick that there like I said you could put this on the inside let's do our little tie I love this ribbon and it's got that silver shine to it and I'm just going to do it in a knot and then I just kind of pull them to the side there so that they lay flat all right and then you have your bling so we have our bling over here so let's put our bling on the card let me get this out from underneath here. All right. Now you have extra bling. So you can use it all or however many you want. All right. So I'm just going to plop them around. So one, two, 
they're kind of like they remind me of um, bubbles right one two let's put one up here let's put one on this one two three four five six we have to do one more let's grab another little one and we're gonna put it this is where I'm always like hmm what do we do where do we do let's put it here <laughs> oh they're they're always different all right so there is that one so isn't that so cute so here's the one I did before where I did it was crooked okay so you can see you know if you want it to be straight if you want it to be crooked it's totally up to you all right so let me clean up and we'll get to the next project the next project is this cute little bird's eye view and I'm also using best family ever for my greeting again I probably tell you each time um, nothing is stamped on your um, items you'll have to use what you have at home but this is what I used um, I love this I love that they have little glasses to put on there and I could not wait to play with that one so this is what the card looks like and it's very similar to um, one of the cards I did for my Hey Chuck class because I just love the layout and I love this DSP so there's the inside so you have your little bling as well and I have put that here so I don't lose it so you have some extra ones so if you want to put them all on you totally can all right so let's get our pieces here so don't forget to stamp on your envelope all right so you have pool party for your card base and this is that um eight it, there the supply list will be below because now i'm like it's going out of my head all right so this is for your little bird this is going to go on the inside so let me show you how this goes so you have these two pieces these are going to go on the inside this is what you're going to stamp your little bird on this is for your greeting and then these two go on the front and the circle will go on here as well just so you kind of get an idea of the feel of the card so I'm gonna stamp my little bird on here first just so um, she can dry before I start coloring her I am using the memento because I am going to be using the blends so we have our cute little bird And we're going to put glasses on her so i didn't stamp her clear to the side because i want some room for the glasses i'm not putting the glasses on yet i want to color her first and then put the glasses we are using poppy parade for the greeting and i just made it be a happy birthday card if you're real good with your um your masking you could have it actually be happy bird day but i kept it just happy birthday all right because this greeting does not or this stamp set does not have any greetings all right so we have happy birthday and that's in poppy parade all right so we're gonna let our cute little bird dry just a tad while I get some of this card assembled all right so we have a little piece of DSP and this just goes along the bottom of this one just so you can see a little bit of that different DSP poking its head out of the top and I left this card blank so that I can use it later as a thank you card or give it to somebody you know for a certain um, purpose and then I can always um, stamp a greeting or write a note it's a lot easier to do that to a card that's already made than to find the perfect card on the front for somebody and then you open it up and it says you know it says something that's not for the occasion so a lot of times I will leave my cards a blank just for that purpose all right now obviously I've made this with a birthday card but still all right so we have that in the inside we're gonna put this stuff on the outside 
So what I want to do first is I want to put my little circle on here because we're going to trim the side of it off. So depending on what you use as your um, picture, if you don't have the um, bird's eye view stamps that you're using something else, just gauge whatever um, picture you're putting in here or whatever stamp and that will tell you how much you need to cut out your circle away. Alright, so I'm just going like that and then I'm just going to cut off this side using the DSP as my guide. And then we can glue this on here. And then this will get glued to the card. Now I glued it directly on. If you want to put some dimensionals, you can. I have got the bird on with dimensionals, so it just depends on how thick you want your card to be. All right, so there's this all ready to go. All right, we have our happy birthday. Let's bring our little birdie over and the blends I used. Right, so here's our blends. Now I'm gonna put some cute little cheeks. Now usually I always use Flirty Flamingo, but I think the new bubble bath is going to start being my go-to for um, little cheeks on things. It's like a softer, pretty little baby, um, baby girl pink is what I like to kind of call it, but it's a, a pretty little blue, or a pretty little pink. It, probably hard for the camera to catch it um, but it's definitely there and then I'm going to take my light petal pink and I'm just going to color the rest of the face and I'm just coloring very lightly and I'm do I am going over that bubble bath and just a little bit so then our little bird has her cute little face colored now we have we use Lost Lagoon uh, on our card and it's also on the DSP. So I want to put a little Lost Lagoon somewhere. So I'm going to put the belly of the bird as Lost Lagoon because then it will be separated from the wings before it touches the Lost Lagoon DSP here. So this is just light Lost Lagoon. So I just I like to kind of explain why I do things like Sometimes I don't realize why I do things and later I'll go, oh, that must be why I did it. But um, because if you do these leaves, then it's just kind of Lost Lagoon on Lost Lagoon and it just will kind of blend in. So that's why I did just the belly. So and then this is dark. So I'm just going to take my dark and go around the top and around the wings here. And if you don't like that, um, dark line just take your light and brush up into that and it will soften that line out all right let's take our um, pumpkin pie i'm just using the dark because the beak is pretty little so i'm just using the dark pumpkin pie and then i want to pick the new lemon lolly it's a pretty bright yellow and I'm going to do the wings. So this will make you notice the wings more against that Lost Lagoon DSP. All right. And then we'll take our dark and we'll put a little bit of dark on the top here and around the side. And let's not forget about this little guy's hair. All right. So now we can put the glasses and I'm using the Poppy Parade. This I don't believe is Poppy Parade. Let me get my little my little um, thingy here. It's ink. It starts with an I. Inked Botanicals. Clips of Coral, Crush Curry, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, and Pool Party are the colors that's in there. But I like um, Poppy Parade. That's one of my go-tos. And it looks good with this DSP, so I'm not worrying about it. All right, so we have our cute little bird. We have our poppy parade pad. And I chose the um, cat eye glasses. There's a there's a, mo a monocle and then there's round glasses. But I picked these cute little cat eye glasses. And we can see through. And look, she's got her glasses on now. I love it, love it, love it. All right, 
So she's got her cute little glasses on. I remember my mom had a pair of cat eye glasses. All right, now we can cut the little bird out. So if we'd have stamped the glasses on first, we it might have smeared a little bit when we're coloring um, because any of the reds can do that. So I just as soon just color it first and then I don't have to worry about it. All right, now we're just going to fussy cut and I am putting a little white border around. I think that is so funny, that little bit of hair on there. So definitely color it because then it just emphasizes. Now I didn't color the little feet. I could totally go back in there with some um, pumpkin pie and color the little feet in. Alright. Now you can cut them out in the center because he's pretty, these little birds are pretty easy to cut out. They're a nice solid image. Now if you want you can cut his little foot out here but I'm still leaving that white border kind of thing all right so let's bring our card over I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals no I'm not either I'm using glue dots sorry I'm using glue dots so it will have a little raise a little bit but not as much as the bird will all right so dimensionals just on the side because it is going to lay over this DSP here so we have our happy birthday. And then I'm going to put the little bird on with dimensionals. And I'm going to have his little feet rest on the, um, the banner here and his little wing as well. And that will just kind of hold this down. But look how cute. He's just so smart, isn't he? Okay, so now we have the bling. Okay, so now we're going to put our bling on. Now you have extra, like I said. You have big and little. And I'm just using my pick tool that I keep pulling my stuff out of. All right, so we are going to go one. And you can put them wherever you want. Two. Three. Four, five, I guess that one's going there, and six, and where else do we want this one? Let's put it over here, seven. I don't think I put them in the same spot anyway. All right, so we've got a couple extra. So here is this cute one. Oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? Now if you want, you could put some Wicastella in the glasses, if you have any of that, and then the glasses will shine. But I love her so much. All right, let me clean up and we'll do the next project. Next little project is this cute little scallop box. And these are in the main catalog. And I have used, now remember, nothing is stamped. You'll have to, um, use your own stamps and ink but um, I used the gone fishing and I also used the um, let's go fishing DSP as well so here's the cute little box so let's put this together so what I like to do is I'm gonna score all you know my lines now some of these will be folded for you so that it will fit in your envelope all right, so I'm just getting them all folded in. And these are super cute. They're similar to a box we had before, um, how you fold them together. But they have this little scallop, which is super cute. All right, so they're kind of like this buttery feel to them. So you can stamp on them and just let them dry before you... Um, you know mess with them too much all right so I'm bringing these up so see how these little ends come in so you're gonna bring these side pieces in first so bring these down and then they kind of latch there's a, like these little holes in there and then that little piece 
just kind of latches in so they don't need any adhesive so there's your cute little box and then we have this piece so these are um, you can use it as a as a gift box but they are made for like a gift card let me get my little handy dandy gift card I always have like an empty one of my things so you would just slide this in and then you have the the gift card but I'm gonna stamp on here first so that um, when they take the gift card away there's a, a little message or they may decide that um, they're gonna use the box after so I'm just gonna use the boho blue now you can make your box be anything now of course you're gonna get um, the um, going let's go fishing DSP but again nothing is stamped so this is just good things come to those who wait and I'm just gonna stamp that in the center and it takes a little bit to dry so do not touch it till it's dry you can heat set it with your heat gun I'm simply just gonna set it off camera so that it can dry and be away from my hands <laughs> because half the time I touch things I'm not supposed to all right you also got scrap paper in here you will have your fish will be a random fish <laughs> so here's the little fish I have and then um you have your little die there I have some cute fly paper now this green piece it's a little smaller than the blue one and I put it in the box just in case you decide that you want to use the box later as a present and you're not going to use the gift card then the little box has um, just a little bit of um, pattern paper in there so it's just not plain all right so this is going to go on the front so let's do some stamping all right so I'm going to stamp my congrats with the boho and I'm gonna put it off to the side now depending on which um, fish you get your fish might be going the other direction then you'll stamp your greeting on the other side all right so I'm gonna go congrats and then I also saw my scrap paper I'm going to do the fishing lure I could not resist doing the fishing lure since the first time I went fishing on Jeff's new boat I think I told you the story the fish took my hook my lure and my worm so I haven't had much luck I have in fact I haven't had any luck in regards to the fishing all right so I'm going to stamp my little I guess it's not a lure it's a bobbin right but these are flies or something you can tell maybe that's why I'm not a good fisherman because I don't know all the terms all right now I'm just gonna stamp this so now we have our cute little um, whatchamacallit now you can if you don't have the die you can cut it out now I have the die so I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna cut out my fish and my bobbin with the die so I okay so I have cut out my bobber and my fish and here is the die that goes with the gone fishing stamp set and it's super cute it has um, a few different fish some flies and lures and hooks and it even does like a tackle box so it is a cute little die so if you've not got that and you go I want to make the car just like then you can definitely um, get that ordered all right so let's put our card together now what I do want to do is I want to be able to um, close my box right so I want to put a little tie around it so that um, the box stays closed so you have some Baker's twine in your um, packet as well and we're just going to you know put it on the box but I want to put this blue piece on the box first and I'm just using the seal and this paper is so cute there's fish on the back side but it looks like um, wood on the other side so we're going to put this on the top of the box like that there's just a thin little border around there now let's see if my good things is dry 
so this is dry so you can tell when it's dry so when it was wet it was shiny but now it's dry so I'm going to bend this back and that's when you would stick your little card you know card in there you might give cash whatever but I love how it's got this kind of like a little kickstand and it just sits in there so when they open the box they've got that little card that sits in there and then it does it gives you room if you want to put a little present underneath there all right so let's get our box and I'm gonna wrap my twine around twice so depending on like I said you might have a fish that goes the other direction you might want your twine on the other side so I'm just getting it wrapped around loosely and I'm just bringing it over here to oh, the third little scallop. It's totally up to you. All right. And then I'm going to tie it in a pretty little bow. And I'm going to leave the ends kind of long. That way, if the person... Um, does decide you know they want to repurpose the box or whatever they um you know their their baker's twine is a little longer so that they can so i'm going to leave my tails fairly long and it's a box right so it's okay if it's got um, a little bit more movement than like a card would all right but now we're going to put this stuff on so by tying the box first it allows me to put everything inside and then we can um, assemble our card or our box rather all right so I need some dimensionals so I'm gonna put my little fly paper on with some dimensionals and I'm gonna straddle that ribbon so I'm not gonna put any dimensionals in the center and this is just gonna go here like that I have my congrats now I stamped it off to the side because I want to be able to glue my little fish on there so I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals on here and I'm only putting it on the um, left side because then it will just go off here so we've got our congrats like that a little bit of there we go so now we're gonna put our fish on now I'm gonna put my fish I'm gonna put my um, dimensional on here so I'm gonna use one of the side pieces and I'm just gonna put my dimensional kind of on the top of the fish and then when I put it on the box I'll just kind of like lay it on here and he's just kind of like he's swimming over top of this congrats and then we're going to use our baker's twine and we're just going to pretend that that bobbin is attached to it or bobber or whatever it is all right so we're going to put one two so this is a pretty quick little box to make so we're going to put our little bobbin here and we can fiddle fart around with our tails later but look how cute this is so wouldn't this be fun and like I said nothing is stamped so um, you will get your little um, you know your little fish or whatever but if you decide you know you want to do something different with it I just love when we get little little boxes okay so here are your finished projects your little life is sweeter with you your fun little happy birthday and then our congrats gift card holder with a new scallop box so let me know what you think oh my gosh it's it is fun to come up with different projects each month all right let me say see you later alligator so um let me know what you think um let me know if you prefer goodies or guts um it's you some months it's more um, goody some months it's more gut some months it's quite even um, but it's always fun 
to know what you think so all right so i'm going to stop blabbing <clears throat> so i can get the video uploaded and i will see you friday for my dice shorts at three o'clock arizona time same time same channel thanks so much for joining me today bye for now